to know. Okay, hello and welcome back everybody to the PS2 Gauntlet, I guess I'm calling it, right? Uh, I haven't thought of a better name yet, so that's kind of what we're sticking with. Uh, basically, I'm trying to collect and stream a bit of every PlayStation 2 game released in North America. Namely, there will be a couple games that I don't stream, probably, because, you know, being banned on Twitch or because they may have excessive nudity or too much copyright music or whatever the case may be. But, regardless, plan on collecting every game and streaming as much as we can. This game specifically that we're doing today is called Eternal Ring. It's an old From Software game. So the guys who made like Dark Souls, Demon Souls, all that sort of stuff. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. It was introduced to me by a buddy of mine. He remembered the tagline on the back of the case, actually. Um, I think it said something along the lines of, who said fantasies have to be final. I could check the back of my box, but I don't feel like getting up to grab it. Pretty sure that's what it said. And so I Googled that to figure out what game it was, because he couldn't remember, and found Eternal Ring. And saw it was from From Software, saw it was a reasonably priced title, decided I'd pick it up and try it out as soon as I could. So that's what we're going to try out today. Now, From Software games, though, at this point in time, from what I've read, were actually first person, so not quite what you might expect if you've played their their newer titles but i'm still pretty excited to get in and try it out at least and i hope you all are as well that night kane morgan was lost in the dreams of his childhood he saw the charred remains of his home he saw himself standing alone amid the wreckage his mother and father were nowhere to be found kane was very young at the time so young that he didn't really understand that he lived in a country known as Solcia and that the neighboring country, Aldine, had suddenly become a cruel, aggressive invader. There was one other thing. They had all left for the island. That was all he was able to remember. Hungaria was the largest country in the Western continent. The elders, who at the time were the acting rulers, had abruptly dispatched a group of knights to a place known as the Island of No Return. The young king, a man called Ian, who was known for his fairness and moderate manner, inquired with the elders as to the meaning of such a dispatch, but the elders didn't bother to reply. Gillian Morgan, the loyal leader of the king's retinue, was concerned about Ian, so he decided he would learn for himself what the elders were up to. He had but one piece of evidence to guide him. It was a vague utterance made by one of the elders. Somewhere on the island of no return, was a ring imbued with eternal power. It was not a time for indecision. Gillian proposed to the king that his own son, Cain, should journey to this island. A few days later, before daybreak, a small boat departed from the port of Hengaria. It was a boat secretly obtained by Gillian for one purpose only, to carry his son, Cain, holding in his hand a sealed scroll from King Ian to the island of no return. Okay. Bit of an interesting story, something to get us into the game. Not really quite what I was expecting, to be honest, just from... I mean, I've only really played Bloodborne, but I'm used to the lore being a little bit more vague, I feel like, in, in Dark Souls, Demon Souls games. So interesting to see, you know, a bunch of exposition right at the beginning to get us into it. But, uh, I mean, story-wise, hey, you know, it's good enough. I <laughs> don't have any problems with it. Gives us a reason to be doing what we're doing, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, no, I picked up a couple more games today. I was pretty excited to get home with them. It's nothing that I'm super excited for, to be honest. Mostly just stuff to kind of fill out the collection. Although I did pick up Sonic Heroes, um, which, if I remember correctly, that's one that I had beaten on the GameCube, actually, back in the day. So I think that one there should be pretty fun to play. I know a lot of the 3D Sonic games get a bit of a bad rap, but... If it's, if it's the one that I remember, at least, I had a good time with it, you know? I won't say that it's objectively a good game or anything, but <laughs> it was fun enough to screw around with for a bit. Long opening cutscene here, just looking around. <laughs> if you're gonna deliver that ladder, you'd be a lot better off doing it before nightfall. 
You bet I will. Some great animation and uh, voice acting here. We fishermen usually steer clear of this island. Gotta be hard working for the king. Huh? Where I thought you said you had to go. Best of luck to you. Hey, be careful out there. I mean, it's a From Software game, so I imagine it was originally made for or in Japan. Um, not, you know, in Japanese. So. Whenever they did the redub of it, they uh, didn't seem to line up the lip syncing too much, but it's a PS2 game. Who cares? Not really that big of a deal. Oh, is that a dragon? Okay, so some big beasties, which, I mean, shouldn't be too surprised about. This dude about to get his shit wrecked. It's just their way of telling us that we're, like, trapped on the island forever now. <laughs> Yeah, I think he may have died. He's dead, Jim. Alright, so... We're in the game. This is the farthest I've ever gotten into the game before. <laughs> I booted it up just to make sure everything was working and whatnot. Okay, no analog control at all. Uh, interesting, okay. The D-pad... Let's just turn and move around, tank control style. That's fine, I, I'm not completely against tank controls. Um, okay, that, they're just, these are just turtles, although they look like turtles that want to eat me. I didn't really mean to go back into the loading zone. I was just trying to look around a little bit and not get eaten. But, let's get into the menu here. Let's see, so we got our inventory. Items, we got the king's scroll, which is a letter from the king, okay. Uh, do we have any rings? We do not. Anytime we hit back, it takes us clear back to the beginning of the menu, which is a little much. Small sword, does it give us info? I don't know what any of those squares mean, but... It has 30 of one of them and nothing of the others. Uh, okay, so that's strength. All right, fire, earth, wind, water, light, dark, strength. So mostly kind of elemental based stuff it seems like. That's fine, we can deal with that. We can have a mag ring and attribute ring. Not sure what that means. And then a weapon. So equipment's pretty basic. Our status screen, we're level one, no experience, blah, blah, blah. Settings. Hey, analog, yeah. Let's turn on some analog controls. Let's see what, how that works. Show ring window when button is pressed. Uh, we'll turn it on. Greater the value, the less its visibility. Okay, I'd actually like to, I don't know, put that on like 50% maybe. Then we have load. And that's pretty much, okay, so. Turn off the analog switch. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, I turned it on, the analog, did I not? Did the, did it not stick, the option? No, it's definitely on. Enables button analog. Yeah, not so much, guys. <laughs> you can say that, but it didn't actually do anything. Let's check controller. So left, right sticks, the analog controller will not be used. I see that, but what if I turn on type B? Nope. C, also no. Type D? Nope. Okay. So I don't know what the analog controls toggle does in the options menu there, but... Uh, okay. Triangles attack. That's a little weird. Squares, magic. Also weird. X is okay. Circle is select ring and cancel. Alright. I can get into all that. And then that's just rotate shortcut status. The upper buttons don't do anything. Hor oh, horizontal movement. Look up and down. I see now. I'm blind. Okay, so we can strafe, and then this is how we look up and down. Hmm, okay. Really wish that it uh, had analog controls, but I guess it is what it is. Let's progress through here and get our shit wrecked, I'm sure. Oh, that attack, though. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's, that's something. Okay, so this is a save stone. That's simple enough. Save some progress here. Saving, please do not remove memory card. I feel like it always takes a long time. First time you make a save or a new save file. Getting everything written for the first time. It's an excessively long wait. There we go. Is there a, like, a run or anything like that? So we need a straightaway like this. Uh, no, okay, so X makes you walk. 
but there's no run. At least as far as I can tell. So that goes down. Can we fall? There's some beasties over there. Okay. Feels like we can fall. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk that right off the get-go here. I think I'm actually gonna try to walk back outside. Um, now that I know that I can attack, we uh, don't have to be so scared of the turtles, hopefully. But if I was making an RPG like this, I would probably hide some junk outside on the shore after just making people go inside. So, are the turtles friendly? Ah, nope, they're not friendly. <laughs> At least not once you attack them. <laughs> Got that big pop-up in red like that. It actually kind of scared me, man. Was not expecting it. Okay. We also can't swim. We never learn how to swim. Type if you can. Video keeps buffering. Last few minutes on lunch. How is it? Uh, So far, so good. Just getting started, really. Wish it had analog controls. <laughs> Alright, let's hurry up and get loaded back into the game. So, uh, we can't swim. That's very important to know, because I also did see, like, a river down in the bottom of the cave section. So knowing that we can't swim means, uh, it's probably going to be a bit rough if we fall down in there. Yeah, no analog, and it's in first person. Alright, so, I mean, I do kind of want to go back outside, but avoid the turtles, and avoid the water, apparently, because dangerous. Oof, yes, you're not wrong, zero levels. Big oof. I feel like, like a lot of Resident Evil games and things like that, though, it's going to be the sort of thing that if you get used to it, it won't be so bad. Just looking down the beach, I don't see anything else, so I'm not going to worry about trying to explore out there. That's just asking to be uh, eaten by some turtles. So we'll just progress properly through here the way that it seems like it wants you to. Also a little weird using uh, L2 and R2 for the look up and down, but... Honestly, like, I feel like we can probably get used to that. This is our first real encounter. Okay, so they dodge. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Hey, that's not too bad. Did he drop something? Can we pick that up? Golden grass. What is that about? Will it tell us? Nope. We just, uh, it became one. We became one with it. Right, that's strange control stream. Anyways, gotta go. Hey, thanks for being here, though. Very strange. Thanks for joining. So we got a water gem or something like that. Maybe we can use that for, like, uh, crafting or something later on down the road. I don't think there's, like, a dodge button or anything like that. So it seems like it's mostly just kind of about, you know, strike, run, strike, run sort of deal. I'm sure the patterns will be a little bit different for other people. So Hoggins Thorn. So that's what we're fighting. So Hoggins. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably butchering it. What kind of items have we been picking up, though? What do they do? Grass from the Golden Fields recovers a small amount of HP. Okay. Recovers poisoned. So these guys may poison us. And then, are they, not equipment, geez, going clear back to the beginning of the menu is going to get to me. Okay, so watery gems, don't know what we can do with that, but we got some. Okay, we'll figure out more about that later, I suppose. I wish there was a, a dodge, it's going to be weird. I mean, we can go, we can strafe, and then... Okay, so it doesn't seem like you can get your sword stuck on walls or anything, kind of like you can in, in Dark Souls. But there is a little bit of a swing time on your sword. Like, you can't just instantly go from one swing to another. Um, there's a giant mosquito. Can we can we stab it? I, uh, 
I want to check out whatever that plant is over there, but I'm a little worried that if we try to, we'll die. Got a feather gem. So, I mean, this game is called Eternal Ring, so I'm assuming it'll have a lot to do with, you know, collecting gems, adding them to rings, that sort of deal. I'm assuming, though I could be completely wrong, of course. I'm curious with as simple as the, the combat is in this game. Ow, I'm getting hit by something. Oh, that plant. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Thank you for being here. Uh, when I first saw the plant, I was thinking it was something that I could, like, go in and collect, maybe, if I, if I gained the ability to, to swim, but no, apparently that's just not a nice thing. Can I kill it? I want to go in the water and see if I can fight it, but I'm scared to die. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, what's the worst that could happen, right? I mean, I guess the worst is we could die. I definitely can't reach. Maybe from over here. Okay, no. Water instantly kills us no matter what. Okay, okay. Well, unless, like, later on maybe we can get a ring or something that'll let us. But now we know. Now we know. For sure. It's a lesson we had to learn twice. Hopefully we won't have to learn it a third time. <laughs> oh... I'm liking the looks of it so far. Yeah, I mean, other than the control scheme being really weird, it actually seems pretty, pretty decent. Um, I mean, the combat, you know, is pretty simplistic, but given that it was a PS2 game, I understand. I like dungeon crawlers like this and, uh, and action RPGs, so it's ticking most of the boxes of games that I would enjoy. It just has a really odd control scheme. Like, you use L2, R2 to look up and down. Triangle is your basic attack button. There's no sort of analog controls at all. So just, just very odd. But... Oh, and then, like, I'm also curious, like, how the, you know, the bosses and things are gonna work, because combat does seem fairly simplistic. It's not like, you know, comparing this to like Legend of Zelda or something though, like the the combat in that game was so much better, right? You had the ability to to dodge and roll from all different directions, you could lock on to enemies. That's kind of what I feel like this game is missing. It reminds me a little bit of I haven't played them a whole lot or anything, so I'm no expert by any means, but it reminds me a little bit of old um oh, what are they called? Shimagami Shin Megami Tensei, and uh, Persona games, right? The old, specifically, Shimagami Tensei and Persona, like, 1 through 3 or something like that. They were, were first-person dungeon crawler sort of games. And uh, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Oh, cool, we got a leaf gem this time instead of a water gem or whatever. Kind of want to kill the mosquito, but I'm scared I'm going to wake up that plant again. Plus the mosquito. Okay, no, it came over. Another feather gem. Let's uh, let's hug the right wall for now. Just kind of keep working our way wherever this wants to take us. I don't see a map or a map button. So that's something that it could be missing. Oh, okay, so it has our uh, location in the top right. I didn't notice that before. First day, time of Earth. Uh, we got to level up and it automatically levels up levels up for us, which is kind of to be expected from JRPGs, so no big surprise there. Or Japanese RPGs in general. This one's not quite what I would expect from a... when somebody says JRPG, I, I usually think turn-based. Seems like uh, when they jump to attack you, you may be able to stun them or, like, stop them with a well-timed sword strike. And it also appears as I'm doing damage to them, I'm gaming, gaining MP for whenever we finally uh, unlock some magic. Whenever that happens. Leveled up again. Nice. So, okay. It just stats up. Always a good thing. 
Let's uh, take out the Sahagan first. And then we'll try to get the uh, Mosquito. The biggest thing with the controls is just, like with it being tank controlled though, is with it being an action RPG, it's a little strange trying to time yourself, right? Getting in front of enemies and things like that. Because you can't, like, move and turn at the same time, really, without doing a giant circle like you, you know, like you can with analog controls. There's no, like, quick turn around or, or snap to the left sort of deal or anything like that. You have to stand in place and turn or, or walk a direction and turn. It's really weird. The I wonder why the analog controls aren't working. Check the, not the status, settings, options... When using DualShock 2, enables button analog. Sensitivity. Level button. Analog. Min gives max at min pressure. I wonder if it's talking about, like, the actual button buttons. Because some of the buttons on a PS2 were analog, not just, you know, the analog sticks. This may have something to do with that that they're actually talking about. I don't know. Of just a magic stone. Gotta be careful around this water. Last thing I want to do is lose all my progress just because I fell in a, a, a small river here. A river through a random cave. It's a bit strange, but... Okay. So that's where we came from. There's a... Nothing else up here that I can see. I saw the broken bridge over there. Maybe at some point we will be able to repair it. Or or like like I kind of thought earlier, maybe we'll be able to gain the ability to swim at some point. I don't know. But I guess there's nothing left to do but go back down and cross the water. I probably could have jumped from the top up there, but I, uh, I don't know if you take fall damage or anything. And I would rather not die for a third time in this very beginning of the game. Okay, I'm pretty sure I killed this guy before, so... I assume that means they respawn over time. Different enemies do. Okay, before I get too used to one control scheme, let me look and see... What were the other ones again? So they all... Okay, see, I think I may actually like this one better. Rotating with the L and R buttons. And then... Horizontal movement. With that, maybe. I might like that better, actually. I'm gonna try this one out for a little while. Type C. Yeah, I think I actually do like that better. Try it out. If I hate it, I can always take it back. Although now I'm a little bit used to the other one, so it's confusing me a bit. <laughs> Come on. Dead. I wish I could turn around faster. Nice. Another one bites the dust. Oh, see, I keep trying to use the left and right keys to, to turn around. Yeah, I don't know. Because I was thinking, like, uh, I think it's Kingdom Hearts, if I remember correctly. It used uh, the L and R buttons for camera, to rotate the camera. So, like, I'm not too unfamiliar with the idea of using L and R keys to turn with... I don't know, maybe I'll get more used to it. I'm going to leave it on for now. I think I just need to spend some more time with it. Okay, so we came up right there. Really need a map. This place is confusing, man. Gonna keep trying to follow the right wall, I think. Another broken bridge. Loading zone? I thought this was just gonna be another waterfall or something, but no, we're actually going somewhere new. Oh! There's a town on the island? This is unexpected. Okay, so maybe I can save and stuff here. I hope these guys aren't going to just try to murder me. Hello, friend. You are a friend. 
I can't talk to you, it would seem. Do I have to be in front of you to talk to you? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, well, I definitely don't want to attack you, so I'll just leave you alone. Maybe you don't want anything to do with me. Can't break stuff, it seems. That's fair enough. But we can go indoors. Nice. It's not a uh, loading zone city. I was a little worried about that. I'm going to change the controls back. I, I could probably get used to it like this, but honestly, it's just... Yeah, it's not working for me. Change it back, type A. Use what the developers recommended. Okay, so it doesn't seem like I can really interact with people unless... Maybe we'll find one with, like, you know, a quest marker over their head or something like that, but... Doesn't look too bad for a PS2 game, honestly, and I think it was a relatively early PS2 game. So it's not too bad. Nice and vibrant green outside, you know. Dreary gray and all these buildings here. Here's a guy. You look like someone we could interact with. Yes? Oh, you're from the mainland. We've been expecting you. I'm okay. Evans. Let me take that letter from you. Oh, okay, so we were actually, like, looking for these guys, I guess. I'm assuming this will become, like, our base of operations, then. Hmm. It says here to add you as a member of our team. Oh, boy. This means we'll need the captain's approval. And where's he at? But he's always asleep. What can we do? Poke him with my pokey stick. Can't send you back. It's direct orders from the king. There's nothing we can do. Seriously, the the whole problem here is that the captain's sleeping. Is it impossible to wake okay. him up? Is he under a spell? You take your sword. I'll put it in safekeeping as part of the team's inventory. I'd rather you didn't. I'd like to keep my sword if possible. Please get a replacement from Wallace at the warehouse. He's in charge of supplies. Oh, well, I mean, if you're gonna give me something better, then you know. This is a weapon request for him. Please go to the warehouse and give it to Wallace. Can I move now? Oh, okay, that was it. Surprised that like it seems like everything has voice acting, which is a little surprising. Um, I will say though the environments and uh, characters are making me think a little. N64 like almost right like just just again comparing it to Legend of Zelda two completely different games but that's uh what keeps popping into my head here it I I feel like the worlds looked a little bit nicer like Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask sort of stuff talk to me later Okay, so is that the captain? I mean, he's not asleep, but he's sleepy. <laughs> it's close enough, right? This is the mill, I'm assuming. Not quite the same as the warehouse, but I want to explore. Give me some loot. Okay, so that's just no. I don't want to go back outside. Let me, let me, let me go back in. What's on this side? And before it just pops us out in the water and we're dead. Okay, well that's something we can't go in apparently, so never mind. Ignore that. Doesn't exist. Oh, hi. I completely missed you. Are you the baker? Oh, you're the new member. Word travels fast. You're hurt. Wait here just a second. Oh, are you a doctor? Not quite what I expected here. Wave some some magical okay. salve at me and. <laughs> from the assistant captain. You're from the mainland. But I I pretty sure I was just speaking to him. How did he get in? I didn't see. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. I'm Marie Fallon. I'm the chief medic here. I'm pleased to meet you. You as well. I don't have a name. We have medicine available here. Seems weird to me to have the medic in the town mill, but. I mean, I guess maybe it makes uh, grinding up all the herbs and things easier. Huh? Look, I'm no doctor. 
So there's some random stones up here. I feel like there's something going on with that. Can we... Are they just here for decoration? Alright, enough diddly dallying, I guess. Oh, wait. Maybe we can jump off ledges. I don't know. Is this the town warehouse? Big open doors, I'm guessing so. With a nice little hammock, hell yeah. Let's get some sleep. Howdy, sir. So, you're the new guy from the mainland, right? Yeah, you look a little evil, man. Are you gonna, like, murder us all? Welcome to this miserable island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. You didn't give me equipment. Is this not the warehouse? So, you're the new yeah, guy. Yeah, we, we literally just had this yeah? conversation. The king wants you to retrieve the eternal power? That's the plan. <laughs> Hey, sorry. Why don't you visit the shrine? There, but that's only if you can open the water. Okay, well, that's actually useful information, even though you look very strange. Uh, But I would like a sword, maybe, before I go. So, warehouse. All right, we got the weapons form. Exchanged with knife at warehouse. Do I have to, like, use it and then talk to him or something? I mean, I didn't for the captain's letter, or the king's letter, right? It just kind of automatically took it, so I kind of assume that's what would happen here. What happens if we use? Okay, okay, cool. It looks like it's going to work. Glad I thought to try that. That looks a lot smaller than my old right sword. Here, how about this? By the way, I know that some rare gems can be found on this island. Mm -hmm. They'd be worth a lot of money back on the mainland. Not many people live here anymore. Resources are excessively abundant. Hey, you, do you need anything? So we can buy and sell stuff here as well? Or or trade? Okay, it looks like we just trade with gems. Are these the same gems I've been picking up, or are they different? You can buy another small gem, or small sword. Paralyzed, poison, curse, silence, MP, MP, HP, HP. Uh, I don't think I need any of that at the moment, but I would like to find somewhere I can save the game at. So we don't end up losing all of our progress. I should probably also make sure to equip the sword. Or knife or whatever. Equipment. Weapon. Okay, so this is definitely a downgrade. We were at like 16 before or something like that. Well, that's kind of crap. Why, <laughs> Why did they take our good weapon and give us this? That emblem. I heard there was someone coming. I was expecting more than just a young boy for being the king's favorite. And? What about it? Can I go through here, maybe? Thank you. Come on, we don't have all day. Just just open the door. <laughs> inside of what? Where am I going? Is this the... Is this the shrine or whatever that he was talking about? This looks like I'm going back in the cave again. I really wish we had a map. Because I don't know where I'm going. This could be a shrine, maybe. So, uh, Okay, well, there's a save point at least, so I won't really worry about it then. If we die, we die. No big deal, man. <laughs> Let's uh, create a secondary save. RPGs, I feel like it's always good to have a couple. Uh, so where are we at with the collection while we're 
here. I am currently sitting at, I made a post over on the website, uh, but then I double checked my list and realized that I had actually missed a couple games putting on my list. Not, so like I, I wrote them all on the website. That's correct. But I missed a couple on my Google Sheets list. <laughs> Um, because I'm, I'm bad, obviously. Uh, so I actually also have... Not like 2.6% or 2.4% or whatever I put on there. I'm actually at about 2.73% of PS2 games now collected. You gotta get really close to these guys to hit them. Which, uh, I mean, still leaves a lot farther to go, obviously, but... I mean, it's... 2.73% though, I feel like is actually a pretty decent amount. Like, uh, that's only, I don't know the number off the top of my head, how big my collection is now, like 48 or something like that? Out of, you know, 1800 almost, 1700 something. But it's progression, and progressing feels good, man. Feels good to see those numbers go up. So we're fighting turtles now, and they're fairly easy to kill. You gotta get relatively close to things, I've noticed so far, to hit them. Like, yeah, with the turtles, I had to be almost right up on them. And part of that's probably the reach of the sword. I heard a noise. It made me a little scared. Red door. That it is, friend. That it is. And then the, the Sahagans as well. So it seems like your reach isn't very far, but it may change with the new equipment later on. Spells as well. So this looks like it's sealed. Protected by ice, okay. So some fire magic or something to get in there. I like how open it is, and again, the loading screens seem fairly quick, which is nice. I always appreciate that in games. Sitting around waiting for things to happen is, uh... I don't think that's anybody's idea of fun. If it is, then I, uh... I don't understand how. I noticed there was another turtle kind of off to the side there. So I want to get away from him a little bit. I do hope the combat ends up being a little more varied than just run in, stab, run away. So far, that's how it's been for every enemy. I mean, but like, even... What were they? The original Bethesda games, like uh, Oblivion and Morrowind and whatnot. I mean, the combat... The, the combat... I don't know why I suddenly got some strange accent there. <laughs> the combat was the worst part of those games, in my opinion, whenever they first came out, right? So it was basically just hit a button to swing sword and then behind the scenes roll a die to see what happens. At least in this game you have a little bit of control over whether you hit or not it seems. Oh, there's suddenly a Sahagan out here. Why is the door closing on me? Ow, that wasn't nice. You are either a lot stronger or I'm a lot weaker. Probably a combo of both. So we came from that door originally. We're following the right wall. Gotta remember that. Following the right. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of control at least, right? Over whether you hit or not. Okay, kill you. Takes four hits now. Because for some reason the city guard deemed it necessary to take my better weapon to give me something worse. Because obviously they want me to die out here. And that one guard, whenever we were coming in here, said that he has no idea... Or they have no idea what it's like inside. Did, or was he insinuating that they've never been inside before? Did the king have like a ban on people entering this place or something before me? Um, so we've leveled up a couple times. Our strength is now all the way up to 13. Even though I'm fairly certain, again, that we were at 16 with my sword. So that's, a uh, slightly annoying. The door opening sign sounds actually remind me a fair bit of, uh, Elder Scrolls Arena. Okay, can we fall? We can fall, and we fall very rapidly. Uh, okay, I need to look up. These controls are gonna take a while to get used to, man. Looking up and down with L2, R2. Like, what the hell? For PS1 games, I've always forgiven it because... Ah, mistimed the attack. I've always forgiven it because the analog sticks weren't on all PlayStation 1 controllers, right? 
whenever the PlayStation 1 originally came out, you just had the controller with all the face buttons and the D-pad. And uh, later on, they released the first iteration of the DualShock that we still use up until the PS3, at least. Um, but on the PS2, the, the DualShock controller was standard, of course. So I'm kind of surprised that the game has no analog sticks. Blue door. I'm assuming we'll get the ability to open colored doors sometime later on in the game. Just keep progressing in the meantime. This has got to end at some point. I feel like we should have gone the other way. <laughs> Instead of going through the, the door guarded by somebody, maybe we should have... Okay, there is water there. Under that flower. And as we know, water is instant death for us. Can we... Okay, I'm not going to get any closer. But there's vines, and I noticed vines as well with the last one of those plants I've seen, so... Maybe we can, uh... I don't know, do something with it. Catch it on fire. Of course, spells are also a thing. We just don't have access to them yet. So, like, a, a fireball or something would probably make quick work of those things. Ooh, another save point. Anytime an RPG gives you a save point, you should save. Unless you are, you know, good at games. <laughs> no, unless you know, like, what you're doing. Played the game before or whatever. Because you never know. I could open this next door and there could be a giant-ass boss that just murders us. Okay. Before I forget, let's mark this down as true. And note that I have streamed this game so I don't forget at some point. Uh, other games I've been playing, on stream at least, as part of the PS2 Gauntlet, I did... Oh, what I do this week? I did MLB 06 The Show. Not a bad game, just not for me. I am not a sports title guy, so that is no surprise, really. I also did Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. I should pay more attention before I die here. Uh, that game definitely wasn't for me. I won't say it's a bad game or anything, just not, not my type of game, I guess. Uh, but Lord of the Rings Third Age played some of that, and that actually was a lot of fun. I, I really, really enjoyed that one. I think I'm going to continue playing that one on stream after I beat Alien Hominid, the first game I actually played on stream for the PS2 Gauntlet. Yeah, I saw how short it was and figured I might as well just go ahead and try to finish it. So I think I'm going to do that. If I have time today, depending on how into this game I end up getting, which... Admittedly, I'm more into than I expected. Just upon first glance. Uh, but anyways, depending how far I end up going in this game, if there's any time left over, yeah, I'm going to try to do a couple more levels in Alien Hominid. I want to beat that one. And then I'll probably try to complete stuff in order unless there is a lot of demand from chat, of course, to play one game over another. Um, so after I complete Alien Hominid, I'll probably try to complete Lord of the Rings Third Age on stream next. And then this game, if uh, if there's interest there. Otherwise, I'll probably play this one off stream, to be honest, if there's not interest. Because I'm having a surprising amount of fun with it. <laughs> with as simple as it is, I, I don't know. There's something about dungeon crawlers... That just kind of get to me, man. I, I just enjoy playing them. Strange, we're back out of the temple, it seems. Into some sort of cave system. Ooh, with a... a is that a coffin? Or is that a chest? It's a bit... Oh! It's a ring! We found our first ring. Okay, what's that do? Fireball. Nice. We were hoping for a fireball so we could murder those stupid plants... Uh, some... That's... Okay. Oh! Okay, so that is a magic ring. So what are... We never figured out what these are. I'm assuming they're attributes. But I really don't know. And then... Okay, we have a fireball now. That's gotta be magic, right? That does nothing for... That door. Okay, it does use MP... Stone tablet? Something's happening. Oh, we're draining water. 
some proper Zelda puzzle solving dungeon stuff here, right? <laughs> Maybe not quite on that level, but... Okay, so some area that we haven't found yet is now not as underwater as it was before. That's good to note. I need to turn around so we don't fall. Alright, well, there's nowhere else to go here, so let's just go back. Uh, but all those doors that were blocked with ice, I wonder if the fireball will be able to blast through it. Well, not blast through it, through it I guess. More like, uh, unmelt it, <laughs> right? Get the chat pulled back up over here, and we're gonna just keep continuing following the right wall. It's worked for us so far. Nothing else to do in this room. Although, wasn't there a... something frozen over here? At some point? A frozen door or, or a plant? Oh, hi! Okay, I don't know how strong our magic is. Seems to do, if I had to guess, roughly the same amount of damage as our normal attacks are. I should have saved when I was back at that post back there. Um, can I fireball you now? I can. How many hits is it going to take, though? My lord. Okay, like four or five. Holy crap. Because so you dropped something. Some gems and stuff. Can I pick that up? This water isn't very deep. I would assume that I wouldn't die if I touch it, but I'm scared to try that. So I'm not going to. Uh, a couple gems aren't the end of the world. <laughs> really, I guess I just want to find the ice door, the frozen door, which we found. Perfect. Can I unfreeze you with fire? Yes! Please no die now. Oh, hi. I don't know if these guys are worth killing. Um, the turtle probably is, so we don't die to it. Uh, we leveled up and did not heal, so that's important. We don't regain health from... from leveling up. It's always something important to note. I wonder if the rings give us anything else, or if it's just purely a uh, magical ability. Like, in some games, magic or magic rings and things like that will give you, you know, other status boosts if you use them. Beyond just uh, whatever ability it is. So you can kind of use the magic, too, to kind of stun them a little bit to get closer. To get a uh, successful hit on them without them dodging backwards. A little bit of pro strats there, you know. Pro game or move. Is this the stairs down that we uncovered? It looks like it. Okay, it's very dark in here. Very, very dark. Another save point. Good, good, good. I think after I do this save, I'm going to run back upstairs. Oh, no, not memory card too. I'm an idiot. Save slot too is what I was trying to do. Anyways, I think I'm going to try to run back upstairs and jump in one of those little puddles now that those plants were in. Because I am curious if we will die or not. I, I'm going to assume no with how shallow it is. Plus, we saw one of the enemies walking through it. Something is just anything deep is what will kill us. Any deep water. Everything else, I'm assuming, will be okay. At least I hope. We should probably also try using a heal at some point. Uh, it doesn't appear as though there's any fast travel system. So that's a blue door, so we can't go there. Which also tells me I've been going the wrong way. Uh, to get back to town or anything like that, it, it would appear as though we would just have to walk all the way back, which is a little cumbersome, but not the end of the world. I think it was through this door. Okay, the plant's gone, but the Sahagan respawn. He's dead. All right, pick up the gem, and are we going to die? We did not. Good. And the stuff didn't despawn either. That's good to know. Which means I could walk back to that next room and check that out, but... Nah. 
Let's go through this door. Was there anything else to do down bottom? Can't remember. Down that stair well. I don't remember if there's anywhere else we could go or if it was just the, uh... Ah, you... Okay. So we're about to die. So let's try... Golden Grass. Use. Oh, damn. Okay. That... I thought it was going to be like a, a light heal or something like that. No, that was a full heal. Oh, we're good then. I'm not worried at all. If that's the case. Magic stones, mystery gems, or, or watery gems, I guess. Not mystery. I, uh... Are, is our magic abilities tied directly to whatever that element is? Or do, like, strength, do we just have a general purpose stat for magic, I wonder? Fire, earth, wind, water, light, dark. No, it looks like it's just tied to... To whatever element. Which, that's fun. And it seems like we did get a, a, a bonus for equipping the fireball ring to our fire stat which I, I would imagine that would be pretty common thing there all right let's double check down here make sure i didn't miss anything because i wasn't paying a whole lot of attention when i was running around down here um this pool looks pretty deep i'm like 90 percent certain that would kill us that's the way up there oh that's right there was the save and then this door that we didn't go through. So let's explore this way. Oh, another area? Okay. Let's see, are we gonna get an another town? No. <laughs> Hoping for a, a way back to town maybe or something. This is like a, like a castle-y type of feel all of a sudden. This looks like a giant circle. What happens if we go all the way around it? Is there anything, like any other doors or anything? No, I think we're just gonna go all the way around in a circle. Oh wait, we found something. A magic crystal. Okay, well now we have to check the other way. So I've only been listening here and there, but I wanna say this, are you, this area you're in reminds me so much of the beginning of Oblivion. Yeah, I, well, in, it's given me some Oblivion, well, early Bethesda games in general vibes. To be honest, playing it, like, it's very different, obviously. It's not the same game at all. But the the style of exploration, the kind of crude landscapes, and the, the extremely simple combat mechanics <laughs> is kind of what's making me think of it a bit. Plus the whole medieval fantasy sort of thing, of course. I mean, there's that. But, I mean, it's still a very different game, obviously. Suddenly cutscene. Is this where we're going to get wrecked by a boss? Something's going to fall from the ceiling, isn't it? Demon Sahagan. Yep, big Sahagan. Well, I'm glad. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited to get a taste of what the boss combat's gonna be like. And you you have your own, not magic spells per se, but ranged attacks. Okay, and you seem to be able to dodge my fire. So what if I get in close? Dodge, get in close, dodge, get in close. So just like, uh, you know, other From Software games, I imagine it's a lot about reading attacks. Although I'm not taking as much damage as I would have expected from some of those other games. So it's reading their cues, dodging, and attacking. Okay, he's going to probably do the charge. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Okay, not too bad so far. Not too bad. I don't know if he's going to get worse. 
I was honestly expecting it to be a bit harder. Not to charge again. I really wish I had my last sword that seemed a bit more powerful. At least I was killing your children more easily with the last sword. <laughs> you know, he doesn't... Probably not actually such a bad guy, man. Like, to be fair, we have been murdering his children. Like, can you blame him for wanting to, to fight us? And he's dead. Level up. Yeah, it just seems to have a feel of it. Some with the look. Definitely different in its own right. Yeah, yeah. Different game, obviously. But there is uh, bits and pieces that remind me of old Bethesda games. A ring of insight. Is that a attribute ring, then? Borrow power of the earth to increase earned experience. Okay, so experience up. And I'm assuming that's different than magic rings, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't know if, like, you could equip a ring as an attribute ring. I feel like that would be a kind of neat uh, idea for a game, right? Uh, a cool mechanic. You could use your, your magic ability rings in an attribute slot to increase attributes or use an uh, attribute-focused ring to gain magical abilities. I think that'd be cool, but nope, none of that. I don't know what door we came through. Definitely lost in that boss fight here. Um, I don't think it was the... I think it was this one that we came through, so let's try the other side. So experience up. I wonder what other sort of special abilities we'll be able to get from rings. Experience up seems like a pretty basic one, but one that's always nice to have, you know? Leveling up faster is better. No complaints there. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the way we didn't go yet. With a, another save point there. Although this one's purple. The other ones weren't purple, were they? Oh no, that's another ring, isn't it? Or, no, that's not a ring. It's... What the hell is that? Hello? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Was that not a real boss? Is this the boss? I don't want to fight this boss. I'll just go. If that's okay. I'm happy to just leave. I'm sorry, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> I have no name. going on <laughs> I'm lost and confused there is not much time left you must you must find her find Lila anybody know who Lila is I I literally have no idea what's going on right now. We got some sort of magic key. We have magic power or something. Is this the magic key? This floating purple thing? It is. Dun -da -da -da. Not going to tell us. Okay, inventory, items. The water key. Contains water magic to open blue door. Uh, okay. Well, that makes sense. And I'm guessing that dragon was some sort of like... You know, mythical being, water mythical being thing. I. He said he didn't even have enough strength left to talk, but he sure did look powerful, man. I was scared as balls of him, at least, I'll tell you that much. Wait, what? 
Oh no, this always had a thin layer of water. <laughs> I was like, hold on, is everything suddenly flooded? No, I'm just an idiot. That makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so I think since we have to I think I'm gonna run back into town. I would like to explore the other side of the map, although Oh man. Plus there were some blue doors. See I just feel like if I run all the way back to town, I'm going to end up going up one of these staircases like this one here or something, and then find out that takes us right back to the beginning. So I'm a little iffy about dude running all the way back to town, but I don't know. We'll 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 try this. See if it has a Skyrim door or something. I uh, don't know about Skyrim doors, but it does have a couple couple crabs. We got crabs. Ah, twin crabs. Okay, that one's dead. This is very awkward to fight on a staircase like this. Some more gems. Still curious to find out if gems are just used as currency, or if you use them in, like, crafting and things as well. Hey, I, I killed your dad, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Look. Because, I mean, what would be the point of having different kinds of gems if they are just going to be used as currency, right? At least that's the way I look at it. There's got to be a map. How is there not a map? Hmm. I feel like that's the one thing this game's really missing, right? I'm getting more and more used to the controls as time goes on. I don't mind the janky dub or any of that, but I feel like it needs a map. Okay, so we've been here before. So the blue door definitely helped us loop around a little bit. Hi, Sahagans. Pretty sure we've been here before, right? This is where I'm thinking of. Okay, watch for the turtles. Die. Die. Fireball. Thank you for your death. Appreciate you. But yeah, it's, I'm a little lost. Okay, no, maybe we haven't been here before. I may have been completely wrong. Because <laughs> suddenly chest. That or we just missed it before. That's possible as well, of course. I am completely lost. Wait. Okay, well, this looks familiar. S save, I guess. I hate spending so much time in save menus, but I'm scared shitless of losing progress. <laughs> Uh, that's the wrong one. Save over that one. I just noticed, uh, that I was in, like, Water Shrine, Basement 1 versus Basement 2, etc. So, like, they're tracking to that level, right? Like, down to what floor you're on, at least. So I feel like they could have a map, but... I don't know. Okay, this is the same door that we melted before, right? Ye maybe? I don't remember there being four turtles behind it, but... It certainly looks like the same... door. No, there's another chest there, so maybe this is a whole new area. Okay, five turtles behind it, never mind. I don't know, because I'm lost! I guess what we could probably do, since I mostly follow the right-hand wall, we could probably just follow the left hand to get out of here, but... I don't want to waste a bunch of time going backwards if I don't need to. General Ring of Magic? What does that do? Is that an attribute ring? It is not. Oh, shoot. Equipment. Rings that are used as a base to make magic rings. Okay, so there is some sort of... Um, crafting, apparently. I mean, it's, you know, says I can use this to make magic, and on its own, it doesn't do anything. Hello, Sahagan. Ah, 
sorry. I'm bad at combat. Do you drop money? No. No money. Okay, so there was something here at one point, but it was it's dead now. So I feel like we've been in that room. Unless it just, like, didn't spawn for some reason. Okay, now we've definitely been here before. There's no way two of them failed to spawn. Three of them failed to spawn. Yeah, no. This is, this is right before we went back down, right? And fought the, uh... Did he just jump on my head? How rude. I did not appreciate that, sir. I accept your gem as an apology. Yeah, okay, so there's the stairs down. And this is... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where we are, where we're going. I just need to find my way out. I'm going to... Start following the left wall till we find our way out of here. I think that's the best plan that I can come up with. Need to get back to town. Talk to somebody, maybe they know what's going on. Figure out how this magic ring crafting stuff works. And then, of course, uh. save and check out that other side of town the way the direction that we didn't go because i'm still not positive if this is the shrine that the guy was talking about or not it very well may be but I, i'm not sure okay so this is all empty although we got another turtle here now a turtle that i cannot hit apparently kind of feel bad the turtles are a little cute Okay, keep going, keep going. I mean, look, if we spend enough time lost in here, eventually we have to learn the map, right? <laughs> like, just by just by the sheer amount of exposure, eventually we gotta gotta figure out our our way around here. I uh, I'm excited to fight another boss. That one was a little bit easy. I like the fact that they are using attack patterns and um cues to let you know you know when things are about to happen i appreciate all that for sure but i still felt like it was a little bit easy i'm just hoping the whole game won't be that easy but we'll we'll pose a little bit more of a challenge this is the save room so we're going the right direction now um i mean i'm gonna kill you guys for the experience but i gotta remember that this isn't the direction that i believe will take me out I actually want to go the other way. Okay, this is the chest room. So stuff definitely does respawn sometimes. That explains why we didn't find that chest before, though. Because that was on the right-hand side. And we were we were going around left. Or, yeah, that was on the right-hand side now. On our way back through. Which means it would have been on our left our first time coming through there. I uh, feel like I have a pretty decent sense of direction, generally speaking, but I I am struggling with this one for sure. So this is this is where we came back up at. So this whole floor is just one big loop. So that would tell me that the blue doors are helping to take me back, kind of Skyrim door esque, right? A shortcut to get back out of here as well. But I imagine it will also unlock a new area to get the next uh, magic key and so on. So I don't want to just go through every blue door right away. But at the same time, it may be handy to do so. Which makes my decisions no easier, but... Okay. Keep going. Gotta be getting close. This place can't be too big, right? I want to know, were there dwarves in this universe? Like, who spent the time to dig out this much area to build this massive temple underground? 
Somebody had way too much time on their hands. That's all I'm saying. Ow, turtle. I did not want you to smack me like that. I feel even more bad, because, like, I just noticed whenever you move away from them, they kind of hunker back down and just kind of chill in their shell. Which makes me feel like, you know, it's not even necessary to fight these guys. We're just kind of being dicks. Chasing them down and hunting them for no good reason. Okay, so I think we're back up to where we started. Or not. Hold on. Wait, are we somewhere brand new? No, okay, yeah, this is near where we started. This is near the top. So there's an ice door over there, and I'm guessing that's the way to progress forward. By going through the ice door. Um, what's around here? Anything? Uh, another door. Gonna kill the turtle for the experience. I'm sorry, turtle. Not even gonna pay me for murdering you? How rude. Can't believe you right now. Okay. Okay, so here's the save thing, which means that this is the exit. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. I by no means have the place memorized, but at least it, the level designers were smart enough to, you know, give you some shortcuts back out from the dungeon. Once you complete the main hole, oh, what happened? Is everybody dead? Okay, well the medic's not dead, that's good. But the town's on fire, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Dude, can I have your sword? Looks like you're about to die anyways. You don't need it anymore, right? Uh, maybe I should have saved before I came up here and I saw that save point and Sephiroth <laughs> he's got his second wing guys except it's white or black or look ignore me this dude looks kind rats of the elders is that the best you can do the eternal ring is mine mine I think he might want the Eternal Ring. I'm not positive. I could be wrong. But there's a small piece of me that thinks he may be looking for it as well. Also, pretty cool that I have the ability to see without, you know, using my eyes like that. Oh, damn, man. The hammock! Where the hell am I gonna sleep? Okay, well. I got a new sword! Is it any better than what I have? Pra. Wait, what? Oh, that's backwards from what I was expecting. I'm used to blue being like, you know, positive gain. Red being negative. Unequipping would take us our strength down to 5. Equipping would take it up to 20. So that's objectively better. That is not... I expect that to work. Is this our... This is our original sword, right? The one that we started with? Uh, yo, bro. You want to tell me what the hell's going on here? The monsters. Everybody's dead. I think the medic's alive. That's the captain. Is this the power of the ring? I must get the ring. The eternal ring. Wait, are you telling me that the guy that just murdered you all is the captain? Damn it. Hold up. Was he, like, twisted by the power of the ring or something, or... 
I'm confused. I want to know more. He's dead. Well. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's go. Go, 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 go. The person that was sleeping in here, are you okay? I thought the person that was sleeping in here was the captain, since... You know, they said the whole sleeping thing, but... Maybe not. Maybe the captain's a, a twisted demon person. I don't know. Glad the bridge hasn't collapsed. You, sweet medic of mine, are you alive? Yes, you look alive. Can I look down at you, maybe? No. Oh. She's dead. <laughs> okay. I, I feel like I screwed up, man. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> like, why is the entire town dead? Holy crap. It's not even giving me any indication of what to do. Like, I, I don't think there's any way for me to save these people or anything. It's just, it is what it is, I suppose. Is it because, did everybody die because I didn't explore this side of town first? That's probably why I, ah, oh, there's a whole nother part of town over here. Ah, oh, now I'm actually mad. There may have been something in this building. Oh, I'm in a boss battle now, aren't I? Hi, werewolf. You're fast. Okay, I feel like I need to look down a little bit. You're a little short. Ow. Okay, you kind of hurt, too. How is that sword not hitting you? Do I need to look down a little bit more? Oh, my God, you're fast. I feel like using fire may be the best bet. Just kind of keeping my distance. He's on my head. Why does every... Is this Mario? Are we playing a Mario game? I'm jumping on my head. Wait, am I the bad guy? Is that why you're all jumping on my head? I haven't been paying attention to how much damage he's been doing. So I don't know if I should heal now or if waiting a little bit longer would be okay. I feel like the AI is not the best here. <laughs> also, how come a fireball hurts you? But... You can just stand and fire and be perfectly fine. What's up with that? Ah, you... Hey, dead. Okay, we won. That wasn't too, too bad. Uh, I don't have any control, so I don't know what's going on now. Nate, you can do it. Yeah, well, I mean, I did do it. Yay! <laughs> I think, think there's a bit of delay on the stream. <laughs> I want to know who was in that other building now. I'm so mad I didn't go explore over there before everybody, you know, got murdered. Wait, are these graves? Is that what those rocks were? I was wondering why there were just random rocks kind of chilling there. Guess that's cheaper than making gravestones. Okay. I want to go see this house. I, I don't know if I can do anything now that everything's all burned up, but still want to explore it. It looks like there's another door over here. That's blue. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that underground dungeon, until I get the red key at least, is probably actually done at this point. So any other blue doors there are, I probably could have explored them. Oh, and then there's that, the, uh, the ice section too, so I'll, I'll check that out before I, I go through this blue door here. That is blue, right? I'm not an idiot. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go back in the dungeon, the, the first one, and check that out first. And then I'll come back over here and see what's through that blue door, because I'm assuming that's where we actually need to go to continue with the game. But uh, that guy that didn't die, is he still around here? At least I took the time to bury everybody. Maybe I'm not the bad guy. Where? Oh man, I'm, I'm confused. 
Because like we were able to shop with that guy before, so there people have to either come repopulate the the city, or or we have to find another town or something, right? Because we can't shop anymore. We can't. We never even figured out how to craft. We can't heal. Well, I mean, we can use healing items at least. So OP healing items too, from the feel of it, at least early on. Just exploring all the houses to see if anybody's in any of them now. It doesn't seem like it. Although, wait, the uh, the guy that we were buying shit from, he is the one that didn't die, actually, so... Maybe he's still in here. Yes? No. What the hell? Crap. Alright, I, uh... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do about the town. There's the one building we didn't check. I, I'll check that, just uh, for completionist's sake. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Empty. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be. Alright, to the dungeon, I guess. Or is this the shrine, then? What they call the shrine? Go back over here. I wonder if you can get a, like, a vampirism attribute or something at some point. That'd be cool. Where you, you heal over time or steal health whenever you deal damage. And that sort of thing. I was just looking at my HP MP bar and saw... You know, my MP is still doing pretty decent even though I've been doing, doing a lot of magic spells. And I assume that's because... As you deal damage, you regain MP. And it made me think, you know, it'd be really nice if I could heal a little bit in the same way. But so far, there's no indication of such a thing. Something I should do for these old games, since they actually, most of the ones that I buy come with manuals, I should actually read the manual a little bit. It would probably give some hints as to what's going on. And that's one of those things, you know, old games, they had manuals, and it's just, it's kind of neat to see and be able to mess around with, compared to new games, which almost never come with manuals. Or even when they do, it's usually just like, uh, hey, you can find the full manual online. Or on some modern consoles by pressing this button and uh, selecting manual from the options menu or whatever. See, when I saw the town, I was kind of hoping that we could, like, fix it up or something like that. Maybe by progressing through the story, we could make it better. Uh, it turns out by progressing through the story, we get everybody murdered and uh, ruin the town. So, I mean... That works too, I guess, you know. <laughs> That's basically what I was wanting to do. Okay, so just a chest in here. I will take it though. Never turn down a chest. With a, another base ring of magic. So another one for crafting, which we can't do. At least yet. And another gem. How many gems are we up to now? Uh, we can't see our gems here. Uh, okay, so select says a shortcut. So by select, I'm assuming that we'll... By pressing select, I'm assuming that we'll use that item out of the menu. Which I appreciate if that's the case, but I don't feel like I want to test it yet. I mean, these items don't seem like they're hard to come around. But... I don't want to waste it, either. Alright, I'm sure there's more exploring to do in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave. We can always come back and explore later if we decide to continue playing this game on stream. Or I can off the stream or whatever. Um, but first I have to figure out how the hell to leave, because... <laughs> I don't know. Was it this room? I think it was this room. Here we are. Uh, yes, yes, this is the right way. Uh, save? No, there will probably be a save spot relatively early through that other door by the mansion, I would assume. I'm tempted in my own time to reboot the game and uh, start a new game just to see what was in that mansion. I feel like it wouldn't take particularly long to 
You know, because it was just that cave system that we had to go through to get there. I do also wonder what else we could have missed in there, because I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure we're missing stuff all over the place. And, uh, I didn't count the stones over there, but I'm left to assume that the guy that we bought our provisions from and whatnot, the master of the warehouse, or whatever the hell you want to call him, I'm assuming he's dead now as well. And then with this, we actually have to use the key, so... Use the water key, open the door. Ooh, my favorite. Long brown hallways. <laughs> it's just... It's just very nondescript. <laughs> Alright, there's a, there's a weird stone next to the save point here. I'm thinking that may be like a teleport. Or at least I'm kind of hoping, right? A, a quick way to get back to the beginning of the dungeon. Fast travel around sort of thing. Maybe? Oh, man. I haven't mentioned it in a while, but for anybody who's just joining or watching the VOD on YouTube for some reason, uh, <laughs> this is part of what I'm calling the PS2 Gauntlet. It is my quest to collect and stream every North American PlayStation 2 game that I'm allowed to stream at least. Obviously, there's some issues with that due to copyright and banned games and such. And where the hell are we? The, what? <laughs> Hello? Okay, there's a bunch of random stones and a jester. Hello, jester. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. Thou, who seek the long-forgotten power of magic, this is the vessel of knowledge and strength. Submit to me the gems, and I shall bestow upon thee a ring of great power. Is this the crafting, or is this now how we buy stuff? What is this? Okay, so magic rings, at attribution rings, I was right about that, and collection. Uh, oh, there is a bunch of rings to collect. Cool. Guess what? If I click that, does it just give me, it just gives me info? Okay, so I'm assuming these squares here are ones that don't exist. Uh, I'm assuming. Cancel combination, yes. Fireball, so ring of magic. Choose a location. Oh no, no, no. I am going to be so lost in this. Okay. So these are blue and these are green. What if I just put water in all of them? <laughs> I mean, I have enough of them. Oh, man, this is the sort of thing I feel like you need to look up a guide on or something. Hold on, let's, uh, I mean, let's just try it. Whatever. Is this thy wish? Yes, fine. Pass down the knowledge of the ancients. So we put water and everything with a blank ring in the middle. And... Bit of a cutscene. Building the drama. I'm going to assume, like, the left and right side do two different things to the ring. Healing wa- oh. oh! Oh, oh, wait a second. Ah, uh, does that- uh, I really hope that lets us heal. I mean, I don't know what else it would do. Alright, we have so many watery gems. Again, I'm just going to pop them all in here, because with the attribution ring thing, it's not asking me to put a base ring in. So I just want to see what it does. Oh, one more thing. If I- Do I have to have something in everything for this to work? No, so you can just partially fill out these slots, too, it looks like. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it looks like you can. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to guess this will give us a, a water boom, but... Oh, it, like, smashed them into pieces this time. 
so it's like forging a ring. The attribute rings like take the gems and forge a ring directly from them. And that's why you don't need a, a base ring. Okay. Ring of rain acquired. So we can see what all those do from here. Use caster's MP to slightly recover HP. Perfect. Slightly increase the water attribute. Makes sense. Um, choose a ring. Oh, no, 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 no. So you can take a ring. Does that mean you can take the same ring and power it up more? Oh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to try it, I guess. I have enough watery gems to do this again. If I lose my healing ring, though, I'm going to be so mad. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, how many of the other ones do I have? Can I just do, like, glowing, feathery, leaf. Feathery and leaf. What if I do like one whole side and feathers, and then the other whole side and leaf? I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I don't know. Does using more of the same just increase the level of it, or are there like specific combinations where you need like two feathery, one light, one? water or something what is that turbulence what is turbulence creates wind currents around enemies to make them unstable oh okay that kind of makes sense i suppose <laughs> okay so that heals 59 to 87 so like 25 ish give or take that's cool okay well, i'm really glad we got that one and then let's equip our attribute ring, of course. No reason not to. Slightly increase the water attribute by 10. I would say that's a little more than slightly. But then we also got the... We also got the uh, the turbulence ring, so let's do that. Equip that as well, which boosts our wind and gives us another spell. Shall I wait for the spell stuff to load? Oh, that's much faster than the other one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save again real quick, but it's not what I was hoping it was, but I'm very interested anyways. And I'm torn between trying to look up a guide on how to make all the cool stuff and just ex researching for myself. Research Team HQ? So were these people researching the rings and the attributes and all that stuff? All the gems. Is that what the giant mansion was? Maybe I could have learned a little bit about this if I hadn't, you know, gotten everybody murdered. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my manual real quick too for this game. Just real, real quick. All right, here we are. Oh. Just because I'm curious if it'll say anything about, like, the combination and stuff. Okay. Left analog stick not used. Right analog stock. Analog stick not used. Compass. Wait, we have a compass? Oh, the thing in the top left is a compass. Is that telling us where to go, or just... What is that telling us? That eyeball is apparently a compass. <laughs> It seems... Okay, I think it's just telling us which way we're facing. So this is south. Okay. Uh, good to know, I guess, but not that big of a deal. Uh, you can load and save the game. Imagine that. See your rings in the top right. Player becomes... Oh, we do have a name, Kane, in order to discover what the secret research team objective is and to discover his family history. So I have some sort of family history. Uh, close range. Long range. Attribute rings. It actually tells us what those are here. There are warp points in various locations throughout the island. When you step on the plate, you'll be transported to the place where you create rings. There are six pedestals in the room, and rings can be changed or created by placing the magic gems on these pedestals. Uh, placing square creates the ring. Different procedures are used when creating magic rings and assist rings. See page 15 for more info. Um, 
If there's already magic on the ring, once you use it to create a new ring, the old magic on the ring will no longer be available. So I think that's just a way, like, if you have two rings and you don't want one of them or whatever, like, two of the same ring, you can change it into something else. I don't think it's necessarily, like, you can power it up or whatever. Uh, you collect and exchange items. Some people on the island collect magic gems. These people will exchange them for other items. Select the item you wish to trade when the item list is shown and press the X button to exchange it. So, I'm assuming we'll find another shop at some point. Talk to people. Time progresses between morning, afternoon, and evening. Invisibility decreases during the evenings. And people's activities on the island change over time, so they have schedules. That's always good to know as well. Uh, you have experience points. You can be cursed and things. You have inventory and equipment. Uh, walking effect. Oh, the head bob. That's what that is. The analog buttons can be either on or off to adjust the analog buttons. That doesn't really tell me anything. I still don't know what that does exactly, but you can load games, guys. Okay. Assist ring. When creating magic rings, the leftmost three slots for magic gems control the attribute of the ring you are creating, whether it is fire, wind, water, earth, light, or dark. That's important. That's good to know. The rightmost three slots for magic gems control whether the ring is an attack or an assist ring. If you put fire, wind, or light in the right three slots, you will get an attack ring. If you put water, earth, or dark in the right three slots, you will get an assist. Oh, I'm definitely going to forget that, but that is important info. The level of the magic gems you're using in the creation of your rings decides the level of your ring. Be wary, though, because creating rings is an imprecise science. There is an element of luck. However, here are the basic rules. Ring level 1, fire, wind, earth, and water 2 to 7, light 4 to 13, dark 4 to 19. I have no idea what that means. So, does that mean to get a... Hmm, yeah, I have no idea what that means, that, that chart. But, okay, so leftmost is attribute. We can use anything for that. Rightmost, if we want attack, we need to use fire, wind, or light. If we want assist, we can use water, earth, or dark. I'm definitely going to forget this. I want to make a level 2 fire attack magic ring. You put all fire gems in the left three slots, and in the right side, fire, wind, or light. Doesn't matter. The total levels of all six slots must add up to a number between 8 and 13. Okay, so this chart makes a little more sense now, I guess. Total level is 9, because 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 equals 9, and 9 is between 8 and 13, so it works, and you've created a new level 2 fire attack. To create a summon magic ring, you must use six gems, all with the same main attribute. Summon magic rings are only level four or level five. For a level four summon magic ring, the total level must be 24, and for a level five, total must be 30. For example, if you want to make a level four water summon magic ring, you put level water level four gems in all six slots. Okay. So there's summons in this game. That's pretty sick. Oh, man. There are two types of attribution rings. Rings that increase one attribute or rings that increase two. Rings that increase two attributes are rare. Some are hard to get. Doesn't matter on this one where you put gems. If you create an attribution ring with gems of all of the same attribute, the ring will raise that attribute when worn. It will create a ring that greatly increases your earth. To create an attribution ring that affects two attributes, you need to mix and match. You can only create gems that at the most affect two attributes in one, so there's no point in more than two. Best bet is use the same number of rings for each attribute of the same level and keep trying if you don't get what you want. A lot of these rings are difficult to get and there's a lot of luck involved. Because of the amount of chance involved, the same combination may yield a slightly different result at different times, so it's RNG as well. You cannot create auxiliary rings, you can only find them hidden about the island no return. And then it has the whole story thing here. I may read that for my own purpose at some point, but we're 25 years old. It's cool. It has a uh, short thing telling us about all of the different characters here as well that we've met or will meet or whatever. Okay, so we know a little bit more about that now, which is good. It's really good, you know? I have a little bit of understanding of what the hell's going on. Uh, glad to see we're not in a flat set of brown walls now. Slightly jaggedy brown walls instead. <laughs> Thank you.
Outside of these uh, PS2 games, I've been playing a little bit of a game called Barotrauma. With uh, my brother and some friends. It's a, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's an indie title. But you control a sub with a, a group of people. You can do alone or, or with a group, you know, depending on how many people you have to play. You can also get uh, bots if you're playing like on a multiplayer server or whatever. And essentially, like, so I mean, as a sub, it's a little bit hard to control. There's a lot of things to do. Things can break down. You have to, to work the nuclear reactor to make sure that it doesn't completely shut down on you, etc., etc. And that takes a lot of work from a lot of different people to do so. So you're on this sub running around. You can be the captain. So you basically just kind of stand around, you know, telling everybody what to do. You can be a mechanic. So somebody who actually goes around and tries to fix everything. You can be an engineer, somebody who who makes new uh, crap. You're gonna shoot me with electricity. What the hell is that? Um, and and yeah. So as you get to towns, right? The only mode of transport, because you're on Europa, is is submarines. You're under the ice sheet, and you go to towns. You find missions to do to collect more money to upgrade your sub. You can buy new people to help you man the the sub new ai people to help you man the sub uh then you can go out and mine or or fight monsters or whatever the case may be i don't like being in such close quarters and wow you do some damage holy crap you hurt okay but anyways point is it's actually a lot of fun we had a lot of fun with it our first couple of tries we completely got destroyed um by the creatures under the ocean attacking us and things uh, which, of course, they can, like, poke holes in the sub, which will cause you to sink, and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, we, we got a crew of three people together, finally, and tried the campaign mode, multiplayer campaign mode. And with that, we were actually able to make a little bit of progression. And, uh, it's... It just scratches an itch that I didn't know I had, I guess. Right? It's, it's such a different game from anything else I've ever really played. Are you, are you a monkey? You sound like a monkey. Is that a bone? <laughs> are you using a bone? These guys are much stronger than the one I was fighting before. And uh, yeah, I've been itching to play more of it, to be honest. Cause like I said, it's, just, it's actually a lot of fun. We got a rat's tail. Can we do alchemy or something? Or is that actually useful in some way? Rat's tail recovers silent. I don't think I want to eat a rat's tail to uh, be able to talk again. Just go ahead and take my ability to talk. That's fun. Is this like a elevator? Nope. Just a random platform out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason. As well as a set of stairs that appears to be out here for no reason at all. Sure, there will be no need to ever go back to that. Uh, any <laughs> anyways... <laughs> But yeah, if uh, I, I suggest you guys check it out. It's like a 2D side scrollery type of game. It's not like a 3D or anything like that. It's uh, but it's got a lot of a lot of content to it, right? With all of the 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 varied missions that you can do, whether they're attack missions where you're trying to like fight an alien, whether you're escorting VIP passengers from uh, one city to another, going out mining resources. Uh, there's also like whole crafting systems to make new fuel rods and, and items. You can build your own subs, uh, although I don't know if you can do that in game or not. Or if that's the sort of thing you have to do outside a game and then import. Not positive there, but you can buy new subs, upgrade the ones that you have. Like there's just, there's actually a lot of stuff to do and giant moths scare me? Hello? Ow! Run! Run! Okay, I think we need to take care of some of these giant moths. Am I poisoned? I feel like I'm poisoned and about to die. I'm definitely poisoned. Okay, we might experience our first death here. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a few of these sh uh, Sahagans thorns to cure our poison. Um, also, hold on. Go back. Select. Select does instantly use whatever item you have saved. Good to know. Fireballs also seem to work pretty well on those guys, so... Um, that's an idea. 
Although they're a bit hard to hit. You, you bitch. Where, where'd you go? Okay, so we don't want to get hit with the with the green powder. Green powder, bad powder. Awesome, dead. I'm really worried about falling. Can we just shoot you with fire? Is that even working on you? It is, okay, cool. I uh, half thought that it wasn't doing anything. It didn't appear to be having any real effect. More healing items. Give you a lot of healing items in the game. I guess they expect you to take a lot of damage. Uh, the music in this game, that isn't something that I've talked about yet. It's, um, uh, getting to be a little bit repetitive. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually notice it until just now. So, like, I don't know if I just wasn't focusing on it before, or if it's just because I, I kind of noticed it, and that's why I now feel it's repetitive. But, yeah, not my favorite. Definitely, definitely seem better. Seem better. I see music, guys. No, I've definitely heard better. No leaf gem. I think this may be the way out of here. I'm sure I'm missing stuff, though. This is a weird research center. <laughs> like, uh... Why do you have a bunch of random ruins and crap in your research center? I don't know. But apparently that's what people on this island do. And you know what? Who are we to judge them for, you know? Let them live their life. They can they can have weird ass research centers if they want to have some weird ass research centers. Why not? Okay. Random hole in the wall. Might as well visit it. I'm sure it's fine. Doesn't look strange at all. The music changed. It sounds light and bouncy. Hopefully that means friendly things are about to appear. Hello, friends. We'll, uh, we'll follow the left. See what happens. This is very open for nothing to be here. Uh, what? Why am I- oh, wait. Wait, 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 Nope. Okay, why am I being poisoned? What? Is this just a poisonous place? Did I miss an enemy somewhere? Did I touch something that I shouldn't have touched? I'm very confused. Here's another research center. I don't really want to save when I'm poisoned, feeling like I'm about to die. I'm confused. What's going on? Okay, suddenly moths. Maybe there was a moth or something. I just overlooked it. I'm gonna have to assume that's the case. I mean, I'm already poisoned. Would that hurt me anymore? Okay, it does. Uh, I can't seem to hit you with my sword. So I guess I'm gonna have to try to hit you with fireballs. It's kind of hard to aim when you're using L2, R2 to look up and down. Egg. Let me get your gem. Okay, use a, uh, a normal item to heal with. We need to get closer. Dead. We did it! I don't know what we are trying to accomplish here. I'll go ahead and use something to remove poison, I guess. I, I hope we come across a shop soon or something. Because I could use more of the Sahagans thorn things, for sure. Uh, this stone seems to say something, but can't read it, so... Let's see. Yeah, I'm very much lost at this point. And I'm poisoned again! What the hell? Is the ground moving? Maybe this area is just poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Are you electric boys? Or do you just look like electric boys? You're electric boys. Okay. 
Let's just do a little stabby stab. And then run away. And then do a little stabby stab. And then run away. Easy. We need to uh, gain up some MP. We're using most of it for healing at the moment. Because we don't have the Sahagan thorn things, horn things, whatever the hell they're called. To keep healing poison. So I guess we're just going to keep our poison. We're going to own it. Uh, you don't look friendly. Is that a camel with a long neck? What the hell is that? Uh, more mothy boys that I don't really want to deal with. Hopefully they leave me alone. Hi, friend. Ow! <laughs> She's that kind of scared me. <laughs> okay. Not friend. Not friend. Definitely not friend. Just a ring of magic. That's what we get for coming in here and almost dying. Cool. And we're out of magic. Oh, God. We need... To get the hell out of here. Hole in the wall. Is this the one that we started in? I have no idea. There's a healing, or not a healing, a save point. Oh, I don't want to save though. I guess I'll make a third save. I'll make a third save. That way if we're screwed, I don't ruin the saves that I have. But I feel like I made a wrong turn somewhere. I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> What is this place called? I probably could have, in the main menu, I think it tells me the location name. Is this like the pit of poison? Is that where we are? I feel like we should have crossed the bridge, knock on in the strange black hole in the wall. Let's see, we are in Disposal Valley, yeah. Disposal Valley, blah, blah, blah. Valley sounds like a place where New adventurers shouldn't be. Okay. There's another hole in the wall. Oh, my, my poison went away. Did it just go away naturally? There's another ring maker thingy. That is a ring maker thingy, right? Oh, maybe not. Never mind, I don't know what that one is. And suddenly poisoned again. Oh, I just want out of here, please. Oh, there's a gem, apparently, that I missed. Use a heal. Where's the black hole that we came in? It hasn't been over two hours. Not according to my recording. I'm at uh, one hour, 52 minutes. But no, yes, Nate. Uh, I am actually enjoying this one. It is quite fun. I... I think I probably like Lord of the Rings better still, but it is a lot of fun. I'm just having fun running around exploring, using the, the slow-ass combat to try to murder things and not get murdered myself. Although my thumb is starting to hurt, using the D-pad to, to run around constantly is not the most comfortable thing. I will say that much. Oh, apparently we missed a magic stone over here. And right now, I really just want to get out of Disposal Valley, because obviously this is not somewhere that humans should be. Is this the hole that we came in? No, this is just a... There's enough freaking save points down here, though. Lord almighty. All I want is to find a way out. I didn't expect to constantly get poisoned. The monsters, I think I could deal with, but the... The constant poisonings is what's uh, really screwing me here. All right, I think this is it. I think this is the way out. This has got to be it. Going up this big ass ramp. Yes. And thankfully, I think poison wears out over time. Although, since our magic, our healing uh, abilities kind of kaput at the moment. Probably be smarter just to go ahead and use a Sahagan thing. Oh good, another random black hole in the wall. Sure, it'll be fine. Uh, let's use another one of these, I guess. As much as I don't want to. I mistimed LON, yeah. LOTR looked awesome. 
It, it was. You should try it sometime, for sure. It's a lot of fun. I mean, if you like turn-based RPGs, at least. If, if turn-based RPGs aren't your thing, then you probably wouldn't enjoy it, but... Uh, that sounds like a bug or a swarm of bugs. Oh, they're bees or hornets or whatever. Um, this is probably gonna go poorly. But... Oh, wait. I can't use magic. Why can I not use magic? Strange. Huh. Can I poke it with a stick? Yeah, definitely gonna try it. Good, I hope you enjoy it, man. Let me know if you do. I, uh... Oh shit, which way did I come in? I think I came in that side behind me, so let's try this way. Yeah, okay, it was definitely the other side. Okay, I think we're gonna save here and call it a day. Because as Nate was mentioning, it is coming up on two hours. And generally speaking, that's how long I try out these games for. Although I'm always happy to uh, come back to them if you guys are enjoying them or if I'm enjoying them a lot. And again, I think this is one of those games I'll probably end up coming back to. Whether it's on stream or off will depend a lot on how much you guys seem to enjoy watching it. Um, but yeah, don't be surprised if I, I give you more updates on this ring. This ring, this game, Eternal Ring, from time to time. Because it's a lot of fun, man. It's not nearly as bad as I was thinking it would be. And, I mean, it's an old From Software title, too. So, just from that, I'm pretty, uh, interested in it. And all the crafting mechanics and everything, too, are really interesting. Being able to make rings by taking all the gems that you collect and all the different combinations that you can have. I'm a sucker for a good crafting system, so I'm into that as well. I think that's why I liked like the old Monster Rancher games and whatnot too. It wasn't so much crafting, but the putting discs into your PlayStation and just seeing kind of what you would get is really fun, right? Like, because you just put things together or put in a disc and then you just see what comes out of it. And that's how this, this ring system works too. That's why even though I'm tempted to, to look up and see what you would get for the different combinations, and how to make them all, even though I'm tempted to do so, I'm going to try my best to control myself and just play it out, you know, just see see how it all works out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be it for this specific video. I'm going to stream a little bit longer because I'm going to play some Alien Hominid. I want to finish that game, if at all possible, even though I'm really struggling with doing it single player. One of these days I may have to get together with John or my brother or someone and uh, finish up the game in multiplayer or something because... It's a tough game, for sure, at least for me. I'm not particularly good at it. But I am going to take a quick five-minute break or so while I uh, switch over the game, stretch out my legs, do all that stuff. I hope you all stick around for the next part of the stream. And I thank you all so much for joining me on this uh, PS2 gauntlet thing that I got going on here. I will hopefully see you again shortly.